YouTube, what goes on? And welcome to This About Action Figures with another special episode. Not so much toy hunting, but we're checking out the Halloween haunt here at Dorney Park in Pennsylvania, Allentown, Pennsylvania to be specific. Uh, we're not going to be able to go through any of the houses. We'll do another video where we actually will give you our reactions to that. This video will be all the different scare zones, scare actors, and just other cool things to see here while you're at Dorney Park's Halloween haunt. Uh, I will give you the heads up if you are somebody who is prone to seizures or has issues with blinking lights, flashing lights, you might want to skip this video and check out a toy hunt instead. Uh, also, uh, this is this intro is being shot later on in the evening. <laughs> I already did some filming during the day. So you see some daytime footage and then all the scary stuff will start. As you can see, this does run from September 16th to October 29th. We're here on September 17th, the second night of the show. Uh, but if you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. We have all sorts of fun Halloween haunt stuff going on this Halloween season, as well as toy hunts, action figure reviews, and live streams. Um, hit the bell notifications. That way YouTube actually will tell you when you post a cut there on the channel, like our toy hunts, reviews, and live streams. Leave a comment down below, hit that like button. And for daily toy content, daily toy updates, and some spooky season fun, Check us over at Instagram and Twitter at disavowed underscore 12. All right, everybody, let's start the haunt here at Dorney Park. So it's still a little bit too early for the haunt to start. So we're doing some shopping here uh, in the main gift shop. Uh, this is a really cool uh, vehicle they have in here. They have a whole giant uh, angel of death sort of thing going on up top. So very nice, very evil, as that has nice to say. Uh, so yeah, cool car. Um, interesting how they do have all the different memorabilia and, and uh, things they're trying to hawk alongside. But yeah, fun stuff here at the haunt. But we'll try to show you some of the stuff before we get started with the actual haunt itself. So over here, as far as t-shirts are concerned, they have Dorney Park Ouija board t-shirts. Ouija boards scare the hell out of me. I don't mess around with that sort of stuff, <laughs> but it looks pretty good on a t-shirt. That's also pretty awesome looking, the skulls. So something we saw back there that was for purchase was the No Boo uh, light up necklace. So if you buy this, it basically tells the scare actors to essentially leave you alone. So for $12.99, you can be left alone. And throughout the park, they do have obviously different sorts of decorations in addition to just the haunt stuff. So I love how they have different pumpkins in this walkway. Uh, lights are starting to come on. So pretty soon as it gets darker, we should have a better look at some of these things. A lot of this fun fall setup. Here we have the corn socks, classic in the front with the skeleton in the back. Gotta love seeing the gourds and the pumpkins throughout the park. It's spooky season, we made it. We made it to basically spooky season, I love it. So just trying to get a little bit of daytime footage here before the lights turn on and the sun goes down and we get spooky. Uh, as you're walking through the main section by the carousel, look up and there are some skeletons that are just kind of, you know, hanging out above you on the, uh, the wire. Very cool. Also, uh, a rare appearance on camera. Uh, just so you are aware, I will not be filming in the houses. That's greatly discouraged. And uh, not that I ever tried doing that in the past before, but I will not be doing it this year. Okay, so uh, it'll be mostly all outside footage of the scare zones. Hopefully not getting copyrighted by the music. And I'm ready for the sun to go down and get this thing started because it's still kind of hot here in Pennsylvania. Also, this would probably be a good time to warn anybody that might have like seizures from blinking lights. There'll be a lot of blinking lights here. <laughs> so if you don't like that sort of thing or it's bad for your health, probably don't wanna watch. Check out a toy hunt instead. I do a lot of those here. Even more Halloween merch here. This is in the store right by the carousel. So we have bags, more t-shirts. Looks like we have coasters, some mugs, uh, more shirts over here, but pretty spooky for the Halloween haunt here at Dorney Park. And this is the store right outside the hollow, which is my favorite uh, scare zone. And that's really cool. I expect this thing to like jump up and grab my leg. Uh, but yeah, more of the Ouija board shirts, El Fundo kind of mixed in there. Uh, yeah, it's a smaller shop, but there's some cool This stuff. is another awesome little spot. They do some like acrobatics on that stage once the evening begins. And they have a little bar back here. So I'll be getting an adult beverage and I'll show this to you when it's dark out later on tonight. Also, this roller coaster is friggin' insane. So there are several bars they have out and during the haunt, you can actually drink beer in the park, whereas during the summer you cannot. So they have the blood bag, zombie juice, I want to drink your blood, and of course, beer, uh, where you can pay the extra money and get the refillable cup. That's what I'm gonna do. And there is the canned beer. So I'll show you the, the different bars throughout the evening. Hopefully when it's spooky and, and dark. bar is located in Dystopia. Cheers. Uh, yeah, this will be one of the newer uh, attractions for scare zones this year. The really cool imagery uh, and different graffiti uh, paint on these different uh, dumpsters and such. Uh, there's an arcade, I think, over on this side, like arcade games, to make the turn here. Yeah, so very neat that these are all here. I uh, love the one with the eyes. So this will be a whole section back here that I'll walk through later on and show you. But other than that, adult beverage in hand, Halloween haunt. Let's do the damn thing. We got to come out and play.
They're all walking up the hill this direction toward us. I think that's a scare actor. Oh, the procession has begun. The prom queen. The colonials, the witch. I love this. Oh, gotta get away, get out of the way. Harley Quinn-ish. I love this type of year so much. The change is upon us. scare zone and this was dystopia right yeah. and first of all that opening act was absolutely freaking incredible i don't know how much i'll actually be able to play or not man this guy looks pissed you got gasoline my, oh. almost empty. my alcohol is gone or i pour some in there for you man oh really you might scare <laughs> you get some more i like it that guy got me somebody get screwed 
Uh, but yeah, anyways, I may have to put music over that. I don't know if I'll get copyrighted. I really hope I don't have to, but if I did, I apologize that you didn't hear the music. But even the fire and the dancing was incredible. So we'll come here again later when Zach shows the scare actors. Yeah, this is called Dystopia. Dystopia. Whoa, I'm not messing with her. Dystopia. So this is the new one this year. Definitely has the, that awesome, like that glow dark paint stuff going on. Um, yeah, this is this is cool. <laughs> this is like Mad Max level kind of stuff. Scarecrows love weapons and everything. Uh, the one guy that, that uh, screw for an arm. <laughs> uh, kids are running. It's getting rowdy already. <laughs> I love how much the characters get into it. It's freaking hilarious. It's awesome. It's a lot of fun. And yeah, just overall, love spooky season, as I'll keep saying throughout the video. We're hitting a lot of scary zones tonight, and uh, I'll show you as much as I possibly can as we work our way through uh, the different zones. Also, when we're in the zones, I'm going to try to keep talking, because last year when I did the video, the music was copyrighted, and I wasn't actually monetized at the time, so it didn't make a difference. However, um, I just want to take a chance on talking over as much as I can. So I can actually have some narration going on throughout the entire video. Uh, this is what I was talking about earlier, these really awesome, like, just dumpsters with the uh, the paint, I guess, illuminates at night. Uh, the eyes are always watching. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna head around and hit the next scare zone. All right, we're going through Carn Evil. So you're gonna get a healthy dose of clownery through here as we work our way through. Come on, come on, don't be shy. Welcome to Carn Evil. Right this way, right here. All right, so again, just like before, I'm gonna to try to keep talking because otherwise I might get copyrighted by the music. You never know what's gonna happen. How you doing? Oh, this is some clownery going on through here. There's the best seat in the house, as you can see. Got some fog coming up up here, of course. Some very unhappy clowns. <laughs> Needless to say, it's also, there's the music kicking in, so you have to watch in here. Like some good scares it is very crowded here tonight which this is only the second night of the event so later on it does get a little bit better than this but uh, tonight it is absolutely packed <laughs> you can see the man eating chicken uh, also we have some elephants back through here uh, don't forget the incredible snake lady of course uh, yeah so the clowns are on display <laughs> hello oh man so this is the, the scare zone that is directly working your way downhill from the actual stage area as we go through. Um, and I guess this is technically the second one we've been through so far from the creepy clowns. And is that, I like your chainsaw. Thank you. are welcome. Guy's got a pretty heavy duty hammer going on. Not too bad, there's some blood on that hammer. I will stay on your good side. All right, so that's Karn Evil as you work our way through to the other side, uh, down to the lower half of the park. And uh, yeah, well, I'm not quite sure where we're going next, but I'm sure it'll be a good time. <laughs> throughout the park very cool this is the uh night tales nightmares night, nightmare tales something like that red riding is walking around somewhere through here are are, are, are you okay are you lost he's 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 right he's right over there he wants your basket oh run run away run away Go the other way. through the hollow scare zone. Personally, my favorite, this was easily my favorite scare zone last year. 
It's very colonial, from what I recall, um, for the scare actors. Uh, lots of pumpkins, obviously lots of fog. Pumpkins all through the trees. I actually love the fog in here as I work our way through. Last year, the scare actors were really cool to interact with and talk. Also, this tends to be a part of the park that's not as packed. Back through here a lot of times, this is the lower section of the park. So I feel like out of all the scare zones, I tend to get the most space to walk around down here and explore and kind of have fun, um, which is what it's about, right? But again, very colonial feel to it. I love Back it. here, all sorts of cool pumpkins and things. Oh man, it's just so cool. We'll let some of the music play here as I won't talk over everything. Just to get a little bit of the feel of what it's like. But I just love all the pumpkins in the trees. It's simple, but yet it is effective. And I really enjoy it a lot. So, and again, the space, this is the first time in the last hour and a half, I was actually, I'm actually able to move around <laughs> and have elbow space and actually feel like I can actually just enjoy myself as opposed to having just people everywhere. <laughs> oh my goodness. So spooky and just so good. The fog level's picking up, which is even better. We got some scares going on over here. But yeah, again, up here we have, oh, we saw these earlier in the light. These really cool pumpkins. Uh, just some skeletons with pumpkins on their heads. Came out pretty great. Hopefully you can see that okay. It's pretty dark back here. Uh, and again, more lit up pumpkins. Um, and again, just these creepy animals. <laughs> it's like, they're animals, but they're creepy. Creepy, 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 I love it. So this is the pirate section. Probably my second favorite area of Scare Zone. Gotta love some good pirates in your life. Also, there is a bar back here, which I'm probably gonna get a refill of my alcoholic beverage from. Hello, how are you? Hello, 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 hello. Hi, baby, how are you? Looking for some booty. <laughs> oh, man. Great interactions with pirates all the time. Woo! We got a scary pirate right there. Here's the bar. Actually, Skeleton Crew does do a show. Uh, three times a night, which is right there. Definitely gonna talk over this music, or else I will definitely get copyrighted. So there's the skeleton crew. I think I showed you this earlier in the video. Uh, back here, we also do have a little bit area here with some guys, uh, some pirates that took the wrong uh, wrong gold, apparently. Uh, but yeah, the bar back here is pretty cool, set off to the side. Um, there it is, Port of Call. And if you're curious what they have, they have the same drinks they had at the front bar. Uh, the blood bag, the zombie juice, and the blood. Also with the draft beer, I did get the light up cup. I use this year round as a water cup, so it paid dividends last year. Uh, $14.99 to get the cup, and then it's only $9.99 to get refills throughout the rest of the night. So, you know, if you get a couple beers, I'm sure you have a designated driver, of course. Uh, be responsible, people, be responsible. All right, so we're outside the Enigma house. Uh, we're not doing any houses tonight. Also, I cannot film inside them anyway, so expect another follow-up video uh, probably sometime this spooky season where we'll give you reactions to these uh, these houses, what we think about them, how much you like them. Tonight's more about the scare zones and the music, um, showing off as much as I can of the evening. Uh, but so far, having a great time. And uh, yeah, we'll see what the next scare zone we go to is. through a nice big billow of fog here is that what the word is billow i don't even know a cloud of fog Ugh. breathe in the fog juice it's so delicious spooky season so i'm going to take a quick walk to the main hub here and show you this great freaking i guess monster truck that they have here uh skeletons all over the gosh darn thing it's awesome uh i don't blame them they told him to move and he didn't move <laughs> uh so this cool stuff they have here at haunt skeleton hanging on the down bottom up top you have more skeletons as well just a lot of fun here, all sorts of cool stuff to check out as you're walking around. Cool details and cool decorations. Um, just, you know, awesome. <laughs> I, I love coming to this haunt every year. We're gonna be here plenty of times this season. And our well. final walkthrough of the night, The Lair, which is a vampire scare zone. Can't wait to get all right, so we're in The Lair. I don't know how much talking I'll do through here. There's lots of yelling. It's very dark and scary. I don't even know where to go. I guess we'll go through here. 
we are in a vampire house. It's loud. There are just people that could not be comfortable. That's awesome. Mad props to her. Oh, jeez. There are too many damn vampires inside this damn house. Excuse the language, kids. Don't use bad words. Woo! Man, that was good. That was good. Oh, my goodness. Ah, I like the teeth. This is just too incredible. Whoa! I think it scared the little crap out of me. Whoa! Hi! This is incredible. Oh, God. I hate when they don't throw real over their fake. Oh, gosh. I'm not going to lie. Oh, I'm sorry. Wow. Woo! Chops on that guy. The queen vampire. We shall all obey. There's her bed. And there's her protector. We are entering another room here. The fog is real. I love the giant spider. I love your teeth. As long as they're right my neck. This is absolutely incredible. We have multiple people who have not survived their encounter who are up above us to the wall. We have a coat of arms. We are being bombarded. So many people here working our way through. This is so cool, the final room. Working our way out. Thank you, have a nice night. And that was a lot of fun. That was probably one of the coolest ones of the evening. That deserves a second walkthrough. Had some good scares. It was awesome. All right, everybody. I think that's what we're going to call the end of our Halloween haunt for tonight. Again, there will be follow-up videos throughout spooky season where we will have uh, more analysis of the actual houses themselves. Tonight, we just came to kind of check everything out. I think we're going to get the speed pass to go through all the houses at another later time in the holiday season. Uh, but if you're enjoying these spooky Halloween haunt hunt videos, leave it down in the comments below. Uh, also, if you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free for you. It doesn't cost you anything. Helps us grow the channel tremendously. Hit the bell for notifications. That way YouTube actually will tell you when we post new content around the channel, like our weekly toy hunts, reviews, live streams, and spooky season videos. Leave a comment down below. Hit that like button. And for daily toy content and daily toy updates, check us out on Instagram and Twitter at disavout underscore 12. Hey, everybody. We're going to hunting this week. Please try to remember the three P's of the toy hunt. Patience, persistence, but most of all, politeness. Take care, stay healthy. I'll be seeing all of you at the pegs and the amusement parks.